Hello everyone, it's Miss Azos here. It's so great to see you all. I can't wait to dive into today's math topics. So let's begin. In our last lesson, we learned how to find numbers that are one more and one less than other numbers and numbers that are 10 more and 10 less than other numbers using what we know about digits. Today, we will be practicing using a 100 chart to help find these numbers. That being said, we have two goals today. Our first goal is I can show numbers one more than and one less than using a 100s chart. Our second goal is I can show numbers 10 more than and 10 less than using a 100s chart. But before we dive into using a 100 chart, let's review what we know about more and less. In our last lesson, we discovered a pattern that is very valuable for us. We noticed that if we add one more or one less, what changes? What changes with one more and one less? Hmm. You got it. The ones place changes by one. For example, one more than 50 is 51. And all we changed is the ones place. However, what changes with 10 more and 10 less? I want to hear you. That's correct. The tens place changes by one. For example, 10 more than 50 is 60. And this time, all we needed to do was change the tens place by one. Again, knowing this information is really helpful because now we can add and subtract quicker and more accurately, which means that we're more likely to get the answer correct rather than counting all the way up by ones and subtracting by ones. We don't have that kind of time here. So let's begin using this new tool. I want you to look at this 100 chart and I want you to tell me, what do you notice? What patterns do you see? What are you noticing about how these numbers are arranged? What are you noticing when we move right? or down, or left, or up. What are you seeing? I notice that moving right, the numbers increase by one each time. Moving left, the numbers decrease by one each time. Moving down, the numbers increase by 10 each time. Moving up, they decrease by 10 each time. While we are observing our 100s chart, I have a task for you. I want you to find the number that is one more than 33. And I want you to point to that number with your finger, okay? I want to see your finger, got it? Okay. You got it. One more than 33 is 34. And 34 is to the right of 33 on the 100 chart. Now, I spy the number that is one less than 33. See if you can point to it. What is one less than 33? You've got it. One less than 33 is 32. And 32 is to the left of 33. Okay, you are all able to find one more and one less. Now it's time to find 10 more and 10 less. You ready? So first, I need you to find the number that is 10 more than 33. You all are on it. 10 more than 33 is 43. But where is that 43? Oh, it's right below 33. So that means that all we have to do is slide down one to add 10. And now for your next task. Find the number that is 10 less than 33 and point to it. 
I'm not seeing everyone's fingers yet. You all found it. 23 is 10 less than 33. And where was that 23 again? Oh, yes. The 23 is right above the 33. So, all we have to do is move up 1 when we subtract 10. Okay, friends, now that we've practiced using a 100s chart to find different numbers, it's time to practice these skills. And that means it's riddle time. So, I need your help solving a problem. We're going to have to take everything we learned about more and less and using a 100s chart to solve this. Are you ready? Here it goes. On Monday, I made 25 cookies. On Tuesday, I made 10 more. On Wednesday, I had one less cookie. How many cookies do I have? If you'd like to use a 100 chart, pause the video on this screen. So let's look at this together. On Monday, I made 25 cookies, so I start at 25. Then on Tuesday, I made 10 more, which means that I need to go down one space, and that puts me at 35. Then on Wednesday, I had one less cookie, which means that I need to go one over to the left. And what number does that put me at? 34. I have 34 cookies. Thank you for helping me figure that out. But I do have one problem. Who ate that cookie? I didn't give it away. I need to get to the bottom of this. Did anyone eat my cookie? I don't see anyone. Oh no, friends. It looks like I found the culprit. It was my dog all along. Okay, friends, we covered a lot of material today, including figuring out who stole my cookie. So now it's that time that we reflect and we ask ourselves, did we meet our goals? Okay, our first goal was, I can show numbers one more and one less using a 100s chart. Our second goal was, I can show numbers 10 more and 10 less using a 100s chart. Friends, we absolutely covered those skills in our video. So I want you to give yourself a little pat on the back because you've earned it. In the next lesson, we're going to actually be comparing numbers. So knowing more and less is going to help us as we compare these numbers. Thank you again for joining me. I had so much fun learning with you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.